there, I'm new here. My name is Alex, I have my own YouTube channel, but today I decided to make a video for my friends at Jack Angler. I've been a fan for a while and I thought that maybe it is time for us to work together. Today I would like to show you guys how to turn your normal milk crate from a Home Depot, from any store that you could get them, turn that milk crate into a fishing milk crate. Like that one, full of rod holders, heavy duty rod holders, ready to go fishing and something that looks good and it's gonna last you a long time so stay tuned for that the first thing i would like to do is to talk to you guys a little bit about the tools that i'm going to be using drill impact driver pvc pipe cutter i like to use hand saws and the heat gun right here this is what we're going to use to hit the pvc pipe to make it look really nice uh, make those rod holders look really nice so let's talk about the materials that you need to turn this project into a really cool project you got a milk crate here this is 13 by 13 13 on the side 13 on the side and 11 inches high PVC pipe and I like to use one and a quarter inch schedule 40 you're welcome to use what uh, a smaller size like an inch thick if that will work for you so I have this here this is about six dollars ninety seven cents at the store and this right here is a 45 degree elbow and this one is for a bonus um, in order to attach rod holders that you're gonna make to the milk crate you can simply go and just get some zig ties but what I like to do with this project is to show you guys that you can do more so I decided to get some stainless steel bolts and nuts you could cut the PVC pipes the size that you want that is gonna work for you I'm gonna put the PVC pipe inside just gonna measure from inside do a little mark there I'm gonna cut this one and then I'm gonna cut the other right at the same size of this one okay um, you can use whatever cutting tool you want I'm gonna use this Hansa because that's what I like to do and set and go now uh, one of the easiest ways will be to just put it inside and use some sick type and just strap it in right on here but what I want to do is I want to put them outside like this and I'm going to use those bolts and nuts to secure it to the milk crate all right so let's cut the others let's mark this one and let's start cutting Now, let me show you. This is what I want to do. See? Put it there. Put it there. Put it here. Put it there. That's how we're going to attach it to the milk crate. For that, we're going to do two holes. One here, one here. Bigger size to be able to put a screwdriver through. And a smaller one inside to put that bolt through. So let's get to it. I mark it here where I want that hole to be drilled right boom and I'm gonna do the same with each of the rod holders I think half an inch is good enough so let's start with that if that doesn't work we could definitely expand the hole later tip just press it hard it's gonna dent the, it's gonna go a little bit inside the PVC pipes and then it's not gonna slip anymore okay So right here you have the ugliest PVC bro holder you ever gonna meet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand them and we're gonna make make it look nice here on top. Sand it again and then we're gonna paint them. Of course, don't forget to use safety glasses when you're drumming. So now we're gonna use our hit gun right here and we're gonna hit this session here really nice and we're gonna use a beer bottle and we're gonna span this to make it look nice. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Look, look at that ash in there. Look, look at that. 
So the quickest way to stay muddle the way that you just did it is to hit it up with cold water quickly. So let's drill the hole. A little trick that I discovered is basically you get this the, the bolt and you put it through like that and hold it so it goes through the PVC pipe to the end because there's no way to hold it inside. See, there's no way to hold it inside. So just hold it like this with the uh, screwdriver with the uh, screwdriver or the drill. The head of the screw is there, but it's, it's, you can see it, but it shouldn't hurt the uh, the rods. And inside, you just got like a minor, it's upside just a little bit. It's not a big deal. But this really is really tough, and it's not going to go away. And with those locking nylon uh, nuts, it shouldn't go away. It's going to last you longer than if you use just the thick ties. So now let's go ahead and do the others. I like using an impact driver because I'm used to it, but you could easily strip the plastic if you're not careful. So, you know, I, I recommend you using a screwdriver. a little something to it and for that we're gonna use this okay and this is gonna be used for trolling you put your rods on the side here and then you're gonna be able to troll with two rods wide open so they don't tangle with each, with each other maybe I'm not gonna keep this here all the time I just gonna use six times for this so let's do that And give it a nice coat of paint. Booyah! Alright, so there you have it. You have the milk crate with the four rod holders here. And then these two to troll. There you go. It looks like you uh, bought it from the store, right? <laughs> Let's start painting. this video I hope you like it I hope it helped you uh, on your own projects and stay tuned for more stay fishing my friends